How's it going everyone? So today I want to talk about the best forearm exercises for size. Now in my opinion, one of my best muscle groups, hands down, is my forearms, you guys. Now I have some weird training strategies that do work for training forearms, but before we get into that guys, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I really appreciate the support, it helps my channel grow. Also click on that notification bell so you guys get all my newest videos. So the first exercise that I'm going to tell you about, it is the weird exercise and then all the other ones are pretty common. Um, some people may not know of them, but um, the first exercise is going to be squeezing hand grips. That is right. Hand grips, all you do is you go like this, you squeeze them. May seem very easy, extremely tough to do you guys, very tough to do depending on how much weight you use. There's different resistance levels. I started off using 150 pounds. Uh, most of you guys out there, if you do not train for hand grips, you probably do 100 pounds uh, to 150, maybe for a few squeezes. Um, I started off doing 150 pounds, could squeeze it five, six times. Now I'm doing 300 pounds. My forearms are freaking crazy. Um, they're very, very strong. Uh, to give you a comparison of how strong they are, um, and how big they are basically what happened when I started deadlifting I could barely grip 400 pounds uh, without it falling out of my hands 400 pounds was pretty tough it slipped it fall out of my hands so I needed a way to train my forearms you guys um, I needed a way so I can deadlift more without um, without using wrist straps so I started using these steel hand grips guess what happened I can hold in a rack 650 pounds to 700 pounds. My grip is not an issue. My grip, hands down, there is no issue. My forearms, you guys, are really, really jacked. You can see the muscle when you do this. Like it, They are crazy. Um, the veinage, too, I got a ton of veins in my forearms. Um, again, I went to a wedding last night. Everything was pretty hectic. I didn't consume probably 8,000 calories easily, super spilled over, super bloated today, but the veins really aren't showing that good. But it, it's crazy what these freaking hand grips can do. Like when I shake people's hands now, they're like, ah, like, like I can hurt people. Like I can seriously, seriously hurt someone's freaking hands just by shaking it. Like I have like an iron freaking grip and my forearm muscle does show that as well. So hands down, the first one is squeezing hand grips very very cheap to buy i think they're six or seven dollars for uh, just one of them uh, you will need to spend a little bit of time on each one so i start off at 150 200 250 pounds 300 pounds people are going to want to know um, rep sets for all these exercises i will go over all of them when i'm done uh, at the very end of the video I'll, I'll tell you guys the reps and the sets so squeezing hand grips hands down the best forearm exercise that you can do in every way shape and form it has transformed my forearms size strength and veinage it has all increased it just by using these freaking hand grips oh and deadlift performance holding on to things crazy good second exercise is going to be the barbell wrist curl some of you are probably wondering, how do you perform a wrist curl? Very easy, all you do is you put your hands on your knees, hands on a bench, it doesn't matter. This is a barbell wrist curl. You stick your hands out and you curl. You can see your forearm working. So that all that's the wrist curl. It's very simple to do. Put your hand on a bench and all you do is you lift your wrist up. This trains your forearm right in here, you guys. Crazy, crazy good exercise highly recommend doing it. The third exercise is going to be the reverse of barbell curl. It's going to be exactly the same as the barbell wrist curl except for all you're doing now is you're switching your palm over and you go like this. Now what this is going to do, this is going to train this muscle here. So you get a big thick muscle. So the wrist curls trains this one, the reverse trains this muscle group. You want to train both of them guys so you have evenly developed forearms. Fourth exercise is going to be the reversed wrist curl, you guys. So, and this is going to be with dumbbells. So I know we talked about the barbell wrist curl, the barbell reverse curl. Now we're going to do the reverse, the reverse 
barbell curl, you guys. Sorry, I didn't mean wrist curl, reverse barbell curl. Now, all the reverse barbell curl is, is when you're doing your barbell curls, you go like this, reverse barbell curls, you hold it like this, and you perform it as simple as this with a barbell. Very easy to perform. All these exercises, super easy to perform. Um, in my opinion, the best exercise is going to be the squeezing the hand grips. Freaking phenomenal. So let's go over some, uh, let's go over how many times you should do each workout, how many exercises, how many reps, how many sets, because you guys want to know the answers to that. So I recommend picking two of the exercises that I listed out of the four. So pick two and perform two each workout. So you're going to be performing them on two days. So I recommend Monday and Friday or sorry, Monday and Thursday. Tuesday or Friday, Wednesday or Saturday, it doesn't matter. Pick two days, give yourself some time in between those days. So two days a week, pick two exercises out of the four that I recommended and perform those two. Reps, 15 to 20 repetitions. You want a high amount of repetitions for these. You don't wanna be doing low reps. You don't wanna be doing four, five, six, seven, eight reps. You want volume. Volume is key when it comes for your forearms, you guys very slow twitch muscles, that's what you need to do to hit them hard. Okay, how many sets? You guys wanna know how many sets for each exercise? Four sets. So let's let's go over a, a sample weekly thing and I'll tell you guys about it. So let's say um, Monday we'll do squeezing the hand grips and the barbell wrist curl. So you're gonna squeeze the hand grips, barbell wrist curl, as simple as that. You're gonna be performing, so that's two exercises, do that on Monday, do 15 to 20 repetitions, start off at 15, the minute you guys can do 20, 25 repetitions, uh, increase the weight and go back to 15. And we'll be doing four sets for each of those exercises. Uh, Thursday will come along, then we'll do the reverse uh, barbell wrist curl and then the reverse barbell curl as well. So the reverse barbell wrist curl, so again like this, then the reverse barbell curl. Simple as that, you guys. 15, 20 repetitions, uh, the minute you guys can hit that, go back to 15. Another thing for your forearms, you need to eat in a caloric surplus. That is right, you gotta eat in the caloric surplus. If you do not eat in a caloric surplus, you will not develop your forearms. Your forearms are a muscle, it needs to be developed by a muscle. You should be bulking if you're trying to go for size. If you're trying to get them leader, trying to get more veins, then you guys can eat in a caloric deficit. So that's what I recommend you guys. Very simple, very um, easy to um, do. That's what I recommend, simple and efficient. So end the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys haven't already, please like the video, share it if you're interested in online personal training. My email is in the description box. Send me a quick email, we can go over details. Thanks guys.